welcome along to the Royal Highland Show where we are here watching the blackface sheep judging. Blackface sheep is one of the largest native breeds in the UK and it is originated within Scotland where you find the majority of the breed. They are the perfect sheep to be found within the hills of Scotland because of their versatility and adaptability. They are a hardy breed which makes them perfect for living in extreme climates and locations and they are really good at mothering their lambs so you can leave them on the side of a hill with their lamb to take care of the job and you know that they are going to be well looked after. Our judge today is Mr Andrew Woodburn from New Cumnock in Ayrshire and in the ring we've just got the, sh the top lambs, the judge is having a look around about them, letting them walk around, seeing how they're, seeing how they're standing and if you take a look at those magnificent horns you can understand why, why they're such a beautiful breed. As you can see, the judge is just walking the, the tops around the ring, pushing them into the corner, having a look to see how they move, how they walk, how they hold themselves. Making sure that they're strong and sturdy. Right, I'm going to introduce you. <laughs> so here we are with Scotland's Young Farmer of the Year, Mr James Hamilton. James is going to tell us a wee bit about Blackface Sheep because he also takes part in stock judging and tell us a wee bit about why he's excited at being at the show here today. James? Uh, yeah, it's great to be back. Um, the Blackie Sheep, they're uh, hill breeds, um, hardy and uh, used for uh, crossing with the Blueface Leicester to produce the Scotch Mule, which is the, one of the most popular commercial yews in Scotland. So they're a good all-round hardy breed. Do you have any blackies, James? I haven't, not myself. I'm a, I'm a, lowland, a lowland farmer, so I'm not into the... Uh, I've no hill sheep at all, so uh, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much, James. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hi Katie, how are you getting on? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm really good. Good. Are you enjoying your day today? I am. I am. So Perfect. what's happening here? So basically what the judge has done is he's let the sheep run, the tops run around in the ring. Uh -huh. He's had a good look at how they move. He's then asking the handlers to bring them, bring them over to the side so that he can get in about them, feel their carcass, feel their wool make sure everything's all in the right places and that they're standing well and that they're fit and healthy. And okay. that means you can just make a better evaluation of 
which where he's wanting to place each individual cup. Okay, and yeah. what? So it obviously all depends on all of those things. Who's, yes. who's going to be the winner? Who's I mean, I, I I think that second one in from the end looks because that's a big big tub. Yeah, that is. And the thing is as well with these, a lot of it is just on what the judge likes about their face and stuff like that. There's like a massive influence to do with that. But um, he will go through, make all of his little judgments, see what he wants to do. He'll start to place them, he'll move them around, he'll put them in, he might have, the one that ends up being last, he might have first at some point in the judging, because everything can change the more in depth he looks into it. Oh, right, yeah. okay. So at first look, he might think one, and then he can, can completely change his mind once he actually starts handling them. Well, yeah, because there could be something that he discovers that he's maybe not as keen on or something that he doesn't like about that individual sheep and then he moves it down and it just all depends that's why it's such a long process of going through every individual one and making sure that they're happy with all the conditions of them okay yeah This is him doing some last checks, making sure he's happy with the horns. The horns are a massive factor with the black face sheep. So much preparation goes into making, turning them out the way that they look today, and it's just great to see them all. And that's us got our winner. So you weren't far off, the one you liked was second. Yeah. So you could get a job doing this one day. I've got a good eye. Is that your one? Oh wow, that is amazing. congratulations well done. madam, that's awesome. <laughs> it's not even half, half to nine on the first day and you've already got two in the top two. So that's all we've yeah. sorry. <laughs> so that's all we've got today with the blackface sheep. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching and I hope that my knowledge has informed some of you at home about the blackface sheep. If you tune in again at ten o'clock we'll be over at the Highland Cattle with Ali Brunton who will be talking you through some of the characteristics of Scotland's native cattle. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.